All right. Hey guys, it's Phantom, and welcome back, or welcome to my channel, for another reaction video. Sorry, I have another tab open, because I'm currently writing right now, um, like on my own time and stuff. So, I am reacting to a video that Plumbella did um, called I Refuse to Stop Until Every Sim Has Asthma. Uh, so, sorry, this is an ad. So that you I'll skip can it. save money. I saw on a YouTube video. Hello, hennies. How we all holding up? How we all diddly do it? I put a video up the other day and it was basically trying to turn the entire world into a smog world. I am holding up pretty well, Plumbella. How are you? <laughs> um, okay, so it is currently, what time is it? It is currently 10.34. It is a Saturday morning. Um, I woke up really early and I've just been like writing all morning. And I'm like, I need to, you know, film some reaction videos because you guys haven't really seen many reactions from me and I want to do more because, I mean, it's summer, I have all the time in the world on my hands right now. Um, I mean, I've had time to film for like the past month, I think. Yeah, like ever since, um, you know, I finished school and everything um like once I finished school I came back to work full-time and it's just been a really good thing for me because I'm I've been very productive lately I've just been like writing and yesterday evening I watched Harry Potter I think I watched like three films yesterday no I watched two I watched two Harry Potter films yesterday um, I still need to get through two more, but, I mean, that could wait a little bit, if you know what I mean, because I want to get some filming out of the way. So, I'm just gonna move this over and plug, hang on, where did, oh, there it is. Hopefully one of these days I can bring a computer and get a PC, but for now I'm going to film on a laptop. Um, so I am here on her channel and let's get back into this video because it seems really fun and I love these types of videos. And did not happen but granted i did have big ambitions and i did say i want all of the worlds every single world to be smog i kind of only focused on one sub district because i couldn't get that one sub district to turn into smog so then mm -hmm. i thought well there's no point trying to get the rest of the world to turn into smog and then sim guru frost done his little slide at my dms and gave me an fyi of that you need to have more than just one lot trying to ruin the world i did do two lots i done one home and i done one community lot i don't know whether community lots play a part with that it might do you never quite know so basically what we're going to do is go back in today and i'm going all out honey every single lot in this world carbon footprint you know them adverts where it's like you better get off the bus one stop before if you want to save the world i'm like nah honey i'm getting off two stops later so today we're going to be ruining the world and um, that's the plan let's see how it goes let's get smoggy lads attempt two because apparently i didn't do the first attempt right but also oh, and if you're wondering that is a green screen <laughs> i'm actually curious where can you buy like where can you buy green screens like that? Because I don't know where to get a green screen. Um, green screens. Okay. So, like, literally, I'm very curious as to where someone would get a green screen. Oh. Oh, Elgato sells, um, gaming green screens, um, apparently. So I wonder if that's where Plumbella got her green screen from. Um, and if you're wondering, Elgato is a 
gaming company that specializes in like a ton of like gaming accessories and stuff like headphones and apparently green screens and then like there are other places that have like those racing gaming chairs um would i ever want a racing gaming chair of course i would i'd probably want a purple one because i love the color purple um or like, maybe a galaxy one i don't know like i just think galaxy patterns are really cool but yeah like you can you can find gaming accessories pretty much anywhere so if this still doesn't work yeah i would like to have words but if it does work like yeah i'm so <laughs> you know what i'm really honestly from the bottom <laughs> of my heart i'm gonna be honest with you lovelies i i genuinely genuinely hope this works i was big fat genuinely disappointed that we couldn't make the world more smoggy but if we can make the world more smoggy and it is easier to make the world more smoggy i'm all thrown in the economy i mean what's it called the ecosystem but also the economy if you want to yeah i'm not afraid nothing new to me darling but nothing. yeah if you're wondering why her entire screen is sims 4 that's because she either has that's because she uses a green screen um it's probably an elgato green screen i don't know which one she uses but i just looked up and i just looked it up and they do have elgato green screen projectors well it's mainly a green screen it's not a projector it is a green screen there is a difference between projectors and green screens and i mean i have a projector but i don't have a green screen um i probably wouldn't even be able to fit one in my room so like maybe when i have the time and the money and the energy i can like finally like upgrade my little recording space that i have from like my bedroom to my or to like an office space i'd want like one of those double offices to be honest with you like an office like a huge room within a room so that i could have like a writing area or so that i could have like a library type area with all my books and then I could have like a recording area and then I could have like sections where my games are and everything and I mean like there's a lot of things that I want like I want like Harry Potter games and everything um other than just you know the sims because honestly the sims is the only game I actually play I mean I play like Wii games and things but, like, I want, like, a full-on gaming room where I can put, like, all my stuff in there. Like, I can put, you know, my gaming console in there. I can have my computer in there. I can have my computer games in there, you know. Like, I can just have it all organized how I like and everything. And, um, basically, I just keep all of my games in one little space and I'd want to separate my computer games from my console games um if you're wondering I've had a Wii for like ever like since I was uh, since I was little um I think I've had it since like 2007 to be honest and that's like a really long time but it still works it is an original Wii by the way um still works they probably don't make them they probably don't sell them anymore um like in stores because Wii's are outdated but mine still works so that's a good thing take care of your take care of your gaming consoles kids because you have no idea like how that'll you know how that'll affect you in the long run <laughs> So yeah, take care of your gaming consoles, kids. New to me. Oh wait, I'm dead, Anna. I can control the world from beyond the grave. It's alright, part two. Oh, good God. <laughs> so yeah, seriously, if you are wondering, that is a, like, okay. So pretty much every single gamer that's able to get one gets a gaming green screen, and it's most likely an Elgato green screen. Um... I do recommend these if you have the funds to get one because they're actually really cool. Um, like, I know a couple of people, not, well, not every YouTuber has one, 
but some of the YouTubers that I've watched are able to have a gaming green screen for videos. Um, which is why, like, it takes up the whole screen. And then they're, you know, recording their face with, well, they're probably, like, recording the game and then, you know, recording the game with OBS and then they have the, um, the face cam on and the face cap and the face capture or whatever. And then they have a green screen to make it look like it's taking up the whole screen. So, yeah, that's really cool. I just love to see it. Right, I'm going to go in. The Harris family. Honestly, this family do have some backstory, you know. Not that you can tell because my camera's covering it right now. But you know what? You can imagine. There's, there's a paragraph there. This is not EA approved. So I don't know how true this actually is. They sell the wacky backy, the devil's lettuce, the marijuana. Are you telling me? Are you telling me? If attics worked in The Sims 4, then they'd definitely be, like, in the attic. I live in Millsbury. I've seen enough of this. Yeah. They don't even have attics in The Sims 4. That's so sad. Like, they have basements. They have basements and everything, but they don't have attics. Attics are cool. I mean, the ones that... The attics that you can actually walk in and it's actually a room instead of, you know, like, insulation... Yeah, th those are the types of cool addicts that probably everyone wanted. <laughs> um, as for some houses, they don't really have real addicts. They just have an attic with, like, insulation in them. And those aren't cool addicts. Those are just basic addicts that people are scared of. I mean, I don't even... I wouldn't even go in an attic like that because that would really scare me. Because it's literally just insulation and air conditioning up there and it's really scary. I don't know where this stuff happened, do you know what I mean? Not that I've actually ever done it myself, right? So don't be charging me. I've just walked past houses during Christmas time and you've been able to see easily. Anyway, moving on from this, there is row one and then also the water generator. Oh, no, that's the fountain in it. I mean, we could get decorative with things, do you know what I mean? Never say never love. This atmospheric. Oh yeah, and they have like, um... They have, like, sprinklers and everything, and you can make, like, a fountain, and it's really cool. Water generator, right? If we just place loads of them here, well, this family is running out of money. They need to start growing that. Marie Joanne. Add fuel, Marie add Joanna. fuel, add fuel, oh add fuel. Is it still sounding like words here? Because it's not to me. <laughs> Sometimes, if I really want to start feeling that existential dread, I'll just say my name over and over and over, and then I don't actually recognise my own name, and then I'm out here like, do I actually exist? And then if I look in a mirror, it, it freaks me out, because then I'm realising that I'm looking at myself through my own eyes, but it's actually somebody else's eyes. And I'm going through a lot of them now. I don't know if you can tell. I don't know if I know you make a difference. I am truly preoccupied. She's just coming mm -hmm. me out. Look, she's trying to put a stop to it. I think not. And also, this is like, this is from like eco living, so, or eco lifestyle. And I don't have eco lifestyle yet. Um, so, I'm missing out, like, a lot. I am definitely missing out. I need to get Eco Lifestyle, but I've said to myself that if I get it, I'll either play with it or I won't. <laughs> I don't even know. I'm like, I'm like for getting it and then I'm against getting it at the same time. So I'm like, do I even want to get it at this point? I mean, I do, but I don't. So I'm not, I'm not even going to waste my time. Not in my lot. This is lasting a while. I feel bad, like, trying to fast forward to death, but also I think it's got to be done. Oh, there we, oh you're a very nasty well, girl. The sheer power of industry. And now we wait, I suppose. I don't talk to Tories. I'm sorry. Oh, my good God. Oh, <laughs> oh gosh. Hey, hey. Okay. But one expansion pack that I do really want, or two of them that I want, um, in the future, I probably would want this as a Christmas present instead of like a birthday present um would be island living and uh gosh okay so I want seasons for the sims 3 obviously we already know this um but I want island living for the sims 4 uh obviously you know because of mermaids and Solani and everything and um 
then gosh what's what's the other one? Oh, university um so i want island living and university are my top two and then for stuff packs i want um there's a few stuff packs i want but i can't really think of them right now so i'm just gonna pass on that <laughs> Oh my god, it's literally hens. It's plural. There's multiple hens. Did the Sims team do this for me? I don't think that they did, but you know what? I just think I want to take it that way. So, to the Sims team, listen, even if I don't ruin the world, I think we've got some good gold here. I think you might be redeemed in my eyes for now. But now, thank you, let's not go too fast with our relationship, thanking you. I'm still waiting. I'm going to give each house, like, enough time to uh, be ruined a little bit. Cletus is family-oriented. I love that. At least the family aren't is, you know. If they go down, they're going down together. Sometimes, honestly, I'm going to be honest with you, is, uh, like, I do get scared about the world ending. Maybe that's why I keep trying to do it in The Sims 4, like, face my fears head on. Sometimes... You're my favourite granddaughter. <laughs> well, I can say that because there's no one else Who's listening. Bad? Sorry. Sometimes I honestly I, I think about my mind and I'm like, girl, you're doing too much. Yay, my neighborhood's eco footprint is neutral. Ooh. But the rest of it, I might just like do a base of how save it to my gallery, put it in every other world, and then I can just plippity plop. I mean, I'd want to play eco live. Okay, eco lifestyle seems really fun, but like I don't want to play it at the same time. But I do, and I'm like, oh gosh, like I'm struggling. With this because I know how much I mean I love like I know how much I love EA and I know how much I love The Sims I've been playing The Sims for a long time now actually um, if you guys don't know I started out with The Sims 4 and then I moved down to The Sims 3 and um, they have The Sims 2 Ultimate Collection but I couldn't but I wouldn't be able to get it because Oh my gosh, like, I mean, I like The Sims 2, but it's just not a game that I would play, really. And I grew up in, like, The Sims 3, Sims 4 generation, so... Well, I I grew up... I grew up when The Sims was... Well, I was born a year after The Sims 1 came out. So I guess you could say I grew up in The Sims generation, but, um... I was more interested in Sims 3 and Sims 4 than Sims 2 and Sims 1. I know I'm not I know I'm not a real Sims fan. I know I'm so sorry um because I didn't grow up with the Sims 1 or the Sims 2. But I wasn't really I wasn't alive when the Sims 1 came out. The Sims came out in 2000 and I was born 2 years later. So I am so sorry. <laughs> um, like I kind of, I kind of wish I was a '90s child so I would be able to play The Sims in 2000, but um, unfortunately that didn't happen. So. Oh, put eco lifestyle over star and ruin every asthmatic's life. One fireplace at a time. I can say that because I've got asthma, by the way. Ah, home sweet home, eh? Beautiful oh view. God. Disabled household needs to care. We don't need it. Caring for yourself could never be made loves. It's going down. It's yelling timber. Time to impact the ego footprint. I'm not falling for your schemes, EA. Don't tell me what to do. I'm a 21st century modern gal. I haven't listened to a man since 1995, and that was when God told me to pop myself out the womb. The voting period is almost over. Sharing is caring is in the lead. But the worst one, honestly. But yeah, I seriously wish I was born in the 90s because the 90s is the best. And also, if I was born in the 90s, I would have been, or if I was born in like 1990, I would have been 10 when The Sims 1 came out. Um, so, yeah. Wait, no, no, no. No, I would have been 10 if The Sims 1 came out, um, because The Sims 1 came out in 2000, and if I was born in 1990, then I would have been 10. And then in 2001, I would have been the same age as Harry Potter when he went to Hogwarts, um, because Harry Potter was 11, but he was born in 19... 
but he was born in 1980. <laughs> so... But the problem with Harry is, he was born in 1980, and he went to Hogwarts in 1981. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, he went to Hogwarts in 1991. So if I was... So if I was born in the 90s, I would have been... The same age as Harry Potter when he went to Hogwarts, except it would be the 2000s edition, and I would have been, like, a true 2000s, well, I was a true 2000s kid, because I, you know, I, I grew up with CDs. <laughs> I grew up with CDs, I grew up with DVDs, like, I didn't even, like, all I watched growing up were DVDs. Like, I was a true 2000s kid, although I wasn't born in 2000, I wish I was, um... Although, I would have been zero years old, wait, well, I was zero years old, I, well, I was not alive when The Sims 1 came out. I wish I was, though, but I was not. <laughs> but, I could say that I grew up in The Sims generation, like, in the later generation, and then with my Sims, so, does that count? I'm sure it'll count. So I've actually played with that one and it did not. So we've also actively got to oppose these plants and all. Of course she's got green hair and all. Could this last be any more predictable? It's like, yeah, guess what my favourite colour is? Red. See, I threw you for a loop there, but her favourite colour is green. So Emmanuel wants to vote for a juiced community because that's what we want, loves. Right, let's go 12. If any others get through, I'll be absolutely fuming. There she is. Oh, she's stuck. It is. I'm not going to kill her because I'm not giving her that satisfaction. I've killed two already and they just come back. Oh my god, Emmanuel's an alien. E oh Emmanuel. Gosh. He never. Remove the scat. Oh, you know what? What a plot twist. Oh my. I did not see this coming. It kind of fits now as well because isn't the alien stereotype? Actually, can you stereotype an alien because they don't actually exist as far as we know? I don't think so. Can you though? Like, I don't know. I really don't know at this point. I, I don't know. You don't know. There is more chance of them existing than not existing, but the stereotype of aliens is that they're gonna- But I mean, I've never- I have never seen a alien in The Sims 4, and I've never made an alien in The Sims 4, but okay. Ruin the world. And Emmanuel is doing it so flawlessly. You know what I wish for, like, side note, I wish one day soon that we- <laughs> I don't know why I was so aggressive there. If I'm a little bit aggressive, it's... I'm not meaning it, no. I'm at bullying a year. Can people no. from the Sims team please raise their hand if they've ever felt victimised by Plumbella McNamara? Thank you. A year going to take me HR. Can you imagine? I get to Sims camp and the stage of Regina George intervention. And then Tim Karoo Ninja's like, one time Plumbella punched me in the face. It was awesome. Frost's like, I do not know this girl. I've never seen this girl. I think my accent inherently is quite aggressive. I'm so caring. I don't know if that comes across though. <laughs> Jay's community received the most votes like India right now. Let me know about my ego footprint my lovelies right that's going down the rest of the world is supposed to move with it isn't it so we're gonna have to say goodbye to Emmanuel for now but it's fine we'll be moving in next door to him so it's all good you know oh can we do father winter father winter is gonna absolutely ruin this town oh my god let me just zoom my oh. little self out the screen right now father winter's absolutely loaded shocked i mean i knew that christmas and capitalism are like you know both together you can't have one without the other but i just didn't expect it to be like this mm -hmm. oh my god there he is our angel emmanuel emmanuel Pereira. F billy actually i'm gonna get married to emmanuel travel the universe together not even the world oh my god there's a fire what is emmanuel getting up to emmanuel i'm just pretending that there's not a fire at all call fire department let's utilize this new thing i mean don't go right next to the fire call the fire department you stupid bastard thanking you right out my house boys Okay. So apparently, I don't recommend whatever that thing is. I think that's like a thing that holds cool. I, I, I don't know. I'm not good at this, okay? I'm not good at this. The audacity. Hey, can you keep it down in there? The audacity of this alien. We are going down, but we're still neutral. Like, how are you? Clearly, you are a terrible and inconsiderate neighbor. You just made a big mistake. I will remember this. Just walk. Right, the next one is Dustin Broke. Dustin Broke the world. It's going to be a long slog this oh life God. for me. Oops. Oh my gosh. Like, is this the reincarnation of... 
dust it. Wait, is that the actual Dustin Broke, like, from Sims 3, the one that died? Like, okay. Or is his name Justin Broke? Because I think his name is actually Dustin Broke, if I can remember correctly. Um, and I'm like, oh my gosh! But then I remember it's an alternate timeline, so... Yeah, uh, like, it's... Like, the whole, the whole thing is set in a timeline that goes together and then there's the sims 4 that just goes off the rails it's like oh oh bella's alive bella didn't disappear and all these other sims that probably aren't supposed to be there are there and it's just an alternate timeline and it doesn't make sense so I'm probably going to do a video, I'm probably going to like do some Sims related research and do like a history of the Sims video. I, I don't know because I'm very curious. I've done like reactions to Plumbella's Sims related videos like on Sims history but like I just want to go all out and do a history of the Sims video. So if you guys think I should do that leave suggestions in the comments right it's getting kind of repetitive so what i'm going to do is i'm going to ruin every single lot in the world and then i'll catch up with you when it's all done and we'll see the effects or i might check with the effects after every house i don't know but you'll see me when you see me all right give me time give me time look quick update all of this neighborhood is now industrial but the eco footprint is still neutral this one's industrial so don't know why the other ones aren't i don't know and this one's industrial as well so now just this one and we'll see if it makes a difference. I'll catch up with you in a bit, my lovelies. Update. I am absolutely knackered. I've been recording for way over an hour right now. I've been recording for longer than I've recorded for the previous episode. Every single house in in all of the world. This one I haven't changed because this eco footprint was already industrial. So that there's not much point. But only these two lots are registering as industrial. The rest of them aren't. Even though they've literally all got the exact same things. And I've left them for the exact same amount of time. But what I think I might do is just jump into one household. You know, this man nearly died, like, at least twice. The, the, the house sat on fire right no, there. No, don't do that. Burning, so. No, 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 no. Oh, my gosh. She's probably going to set the house on fire again. I'm really afraid. Okay, if the man the roof over his head, and I'm so sorry for this. But what I think I might do is fast forward it. Oh, shit, he is actually burnt to death, isn't he? I'm oh sorry, God. no. <gasps> <laughs> like first let me put a roof over this man's head so he doesn't die i'm going to set it to three days so it's officially sunday i'm going to go to a neighborhood vote and put both thingy majiggy oh no wasn't encouraged and i'm going to go to each neighborhood and, and, and not vote for green initiatives oh jesus <laughs> the glow why is this green? So that's all that enacted. Let me offset the hours by like 12. This man's burnt. I don't have time. Blue skies. Oh, she's feeling sad. And me too. Me too, Bess. They've went green, which they really shouldn't do because every single lot in that one is not green at all, even in the slightest. I really don't know what I'm doing wrong and I don't think I am doing anything wrong. I've went above and beyond. Oh, and if you're wondering, that's what you see. I think that's like clouds i don't i don't know what that is but i think it's clouds on the normal required effort that i would expect to make the world industrial and it's still not really doing anything the last thing i can think of is it might not have just been given enough time to be enacted yet i have done everything there's there's no green initiatives being put in place in any single part of the world it's still a new world footprint at all all of the initiatives that can be put in place are already put in place and none of them influence a green or eco-friendly lifestyle. And every single place in the world is still neutral or one place has actually turned green. If anyone from the Sims team is watching this and you're like, no, you're doing this wrong, please, you're doing this wrong, genuinely, please let me know. Every single lot in the world has all the, the necessary objects to make it more industrial. And I'm not seeing one bit of smog. If I am doing everything right and it just doesn't work, it needs to be fine-tuned a lot more, definitely. It needs to be more fine-tuned anyway because, yeah, it's not going to be great if all... Oh, gosh, three, three minutes left on my timer. Oh, gosh. No, 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 I haven't even gotten through this video yet. <laughs> okay, hopefully I can make it through this video, but I'm 
really scary one. Well, it's easily going to eat this industrial state with all the smog because not everybody likes that. But also, if it's this hard to make it industrial, it kind of negates the whole let's make everything eco-friendly and stuff because there's no challenge against it. There's no actual threat of anything turning industrial if you don't do this eco-friendly lifestyle. I'm sad. Hopefully the Sims team can watch this and, and fine-tune it a little bit. Oh, is this what you Is that what you mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm getting off track. Well, like, the music is Game of Thrones. Oh, like, I would oh like God, to see I some repercussion like... to not live in an eco friendly Watch lifestyle. Do you know things. what I mean? I just need some opposition. I need some challenge. And I feel like I've done everything right. I've not done any green plans mm -hmm. every single lot in the world is not eco-friendly and i've played through weeks and weeks and weeks and still nothing is really happening to the world so that's that but that's everything that i have you today please let me know what you think of this video i don't think i'll be doing a part three honestly and i just want to reiterate that even though like the industrial part of the world doesn't necessarily work it's still a very good pack i just think it could have been taken that one step further if you know there was actual repercussion to it right. uh, i think it could have been much better in that way i mean the eco lifestyle part of the pack is still great i'm not just shitting on the entire pack it'd just be even better with the eco stuff but that's everything i have for you today i don't have any videos of my dad because he doesn't send me them so um every now and again i'm just going to put a picture of me dad at the end for you to enjoy so he just wanted to say, okay i love you all see you in the next one bye, -bye, -bye guys what you know about me what you, what you know about me i need the cape i need the pink boots i need to be flying through the sky right now because I do lift people's spirits. Yeah. Okay, so that's the end of this video. I'm gonna turn my timer off now. Um, because I only have like a smidgen of time left. <sighs> or maybe I could just do my outro or whatever. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and please subscribe to my channel for more videos. And also subscribe to Plumbella. I will leave the link to her channel in the iCard and I will link this video in the description below. So that is all. Goodbye, guys.